Hey guys, today I'm going to show you an awesome trick that you can do with your hook to increase the amount of fish that you catch. It's a really simple trick and it only requires a few things and I might be getting you into a new hobby. What I'm talking about is dressing your hook. There are all sorts of different ways that I've started to dress my hooks. I took all these different flies and these different hooks that I've dressed onto my friend Tommy's boat and ended up catching a whole lot of fish on it. It was really rewarding and it's really fun to tie. I wanted to share with you guys my new hobby. So I'm going to show you how to tie this real quick, then we're going to jump on my friend Tommy's boat and I'm going to show you them in action. So really quickly, I'm going to try and run you through this real quick. And if this is not enough, don't worry, I'm going to have an entire episode on how to tie these up next week. But today I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to show you how to dress one hook, okay? And you're going to need a few things. To get started on this hobby, it can be pretty cheap or it can be very expensive. I chose the cheap alternative because I'm not made of money and I just want to see if I'm into this hobby first. So I got myself a $14 vise from Bass Pro. It's a cheap old one. I've been using it for about six months now, no problem. Aaron has the same one too. Next thing you need is bucktail hairs or feathers. I got a variety pack of bucktail colors, um, so I maybe spent like 15 bucks on that. So, so far 30 bucks. Next, you're gonna need some kind of flash. And I've got red flash here and I've got white flash here, both of which are great. Next thing you're gonna need is what's called a bobbin. A bobbin is what holds your thread and allows you to wrap it up real quick. Next, you're going to need a pair of scissors to cut your, your bucktail hairs to cut your line. And this pair of scissors needs to be very sharp. Don't cut anything else with it, just cut your bucktail hairs. And this weird tool is called a whipping tool. It's used to tie off the knot at the end. And the last thing that you're going to need is two-part epoxy. You can get this at any hardware store. So maybe like a $40, $50 starter kit right here. So let's quickly talk about how to dress this hook. Okay, now this is not the only way to do it. I'm showing you the way that I've learned. This is just what's working for me. So, I take the hook, put it into the vise just like this, right? Then I tighten it up. Now, my hook should not be moving. It should be stationary just like that. Next, I have put the thread through my bobbin just like this. And now you can choose whatever thread color you want. I'm actually just using sewing thread. It's been working great for me. I've had no problems and it's way cheaper than buying fly line. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just wrap some around the base so that we can have a foundation for the bucktail hair to sit on. So I'm gonna wrap just a little bit, just like that. So I'm gonna cut this excess line right here. And with this, you really wanna take your time. There's, there's really no rush at all. I mean, I've got all winter here, so there's no rush. Do it right the first time or your thing will come apart. Now, I'm gonna pick a color here. Let's do a little bit of red and white. Take the deer hair, just a little strand at a time. You don't need to do a big chunk, and then we're gonna cut it. You see that? So now once you have that pinch, you're gonna want to pinch this tight and pull off any excess hair. This is important. This way, it'll hold on tight. So now that I have my first part, I'm just gonna stack it on top very nicely and easy, just like that, like this. See that? Now I'm going to give it a couple of wraps just to hold it in place. And before wrapping it too much, make sure it's the size and the shape that you want it. That's one side of it. We're going to just keep adding, we're just going to keep adding hairs around it. Okay, I'm going to add some red now. And with red, I like to just use it sparingly. But that's just my own personal style and choice. I don't like too much red. Okay, now a little bit of flash right here. And you don't need much of this, just three or four strands just like that. Okay, and there we go. That's the basics of how to dress a hook. Now, I'm gonna show you how to finish it off. Make sure it's pretty tight. Finish wrapping the head just like this. Okay, so now that I have this done, I'm gonna get the whipping tool out and tie it off. That's tied off now. Now, time for two-part epoxy. 
If you haven't used two-part epoxy before, this is how it works. This stays in liquid form if they're separate like this. If you mix them together, you have about five to seven minutes before it starts to harden. So you've got five to seven minutes to apply the epoxy onto the tip of your, I mean, onto your thread here. So to mix the epoxy, I just put some out and you really don't need that much. You just need a little bit, just like that. Equal amounts, right? So right now, right now it'll still be wet. It won't start drying until I mix it around like that. Once I mix it for a little bit, it's gonna start to harden. You wanna get this onto your fly or onto your hook before it all the way dries. So I like to get a big glob, put it on and just start turning it. Okay, now that it's fully applied, it's not over yet because it's, it can start to drip still. What you wanna do after you have it all applied is just to spin it. So I'm gonna spin it for maybe probably three to four more minutes and then it should be dry and ready to use. Then I'll... Voila, there we go. A perfectly dressed hook. Now it's got red and white flash, so when this drops, they're gonna see a flash of red and it's going to look like blood. Next week I'm going to show you how to tie bucktails and all sorts of other stuff. But right now I want to take you on to the boat and show you exactly how I use these. I'll see you there. Okay, here we are at my good friend Tommy's boat. We're going out with Tommy, his friend Eric, and Aaron. And we're going to be chasing birds all day long. And we're going to be looking for birds to chase because under those birds, there are fish. Lots of hungry, hungry fish. So to start out, I'm going to tie on a small teaser fly. The teaser fly is another kind of dressed hook. It doesn't have a weight on the head, so it's weightless. I like to use a teaser fly in combination with a jig or a popper. There they are. You marking anything? There we go. Cast? Yeah, I, I got one on the little fly. Little fly. Come on, another. Are you that one or it's a little better? They took my little fly again. They love the fly. They love the fly. Maybe that means they're cheating on like smaller things. Might be. But I'm only hitting small ones on these. So I've got it so that I've got it as a teaser for the popper, so the popper will make a bunch of noise and it can get my little fly out there. Yeah, on my little fly. There's all these little tiny ones. Good, because I got to do that too. Oh, you, you have a funnel? So you won't, uh, oh, it's you just a funnel. A... Well, if you needed to go, you would need a funnel. Uh, it's good luck when you pee in the water. Usually I catch fish right after. I seriously do. Like, uh, fish attracted. Yeah, must be. Okay, so now I'm going to try going a little bit deeper. See if I can hit anything different. Or is it all the same thing? I'm on. On the bucktail? Yeah, on the bucktail. It took 
The top bucktail again. again. Took the top fly again. I love it. There we go. Okay, so the fish that we were catching are just too small. So we're moving to try and find some bigger fish. Along the way, we're stopping by this target boat. The U.S. military put this boat here as target practice for the pilots. So we see a bunch of bullet holes and stuff inside this boat. It's really cool to see. You on bottom? I was not on the bottom. Oh, that's a beaut. That's nice. Got it? Yeah. Woo! Nice. It's nice like my PB. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there nice you fish. go. It's like my, literally my PB. Yeah, nice. <sighs> Good job. Hold it. Oh my god. 26. Okay. Oh, three of you? Oh, 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 oh. That was awesome. That's okay, just got... That was definitely a beast. Just go, you're good. You're fine. I Get got your you. Thing out of the way. I can't, it's tw it's tangled. Just go. You move. There. Damn, we had a Nice, Brendan. It took both of my... What in the world? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it took <Yeah>. both. <laughs> it said thank you very no, much. I think, I think I lost the... Oh, but it wanted that. 20. Oh, yeah. Throw it in the cooler. It took your bottom hook off? Yeah. I must have had something else on it at the same time. Big one. Good one? Whoa. Yeah. Got it? Got him. That's a fat one. Yeah. <laughs> 20. <laughs> 19 and a half. Oh my gosh, look at his eye. Yeah. <laughs> it's like blind. Wow. Twenty-six. 
Wow, what a crazy day of fishing. I mean, I'm glad I tied up some bucktails prior. We ended up hitting a lot of fish. This is a great example of how adding teaser flies and adding uh, dressing hooks onto your lures can really increase the amount of fish that you catch. I hope you guys give this a try. If you try it out, let me know. If you need any help, comment below, ask us questions. We're here to help here at Hay Skipper. We want to help as many people get on fish as possible. And we do this by going out and fishing and, and experiencing it and showing you guys what we've learned. We've got a lot of eBooks and tutorials on our website as well. If you wanted to, to check that out, it would be a great way to help support our channel and you can learn something new. If you wanted to try our Squiddy Bits, this is a great natural bait. Add on to your lures. It has natural scent and natural action to it and it's also mess free. So if you wanted to try this, it's on our website as well. I want to give a big thank you to Tommy Tech and thank you for taking us out on your boat. It was such an awesome time. Give his channel a follow if you haven't before. He does a lot of fishing around the Maryland area um, and honestly I like to check up on him from time to time to see what he's catching because it's a good report. He also has a lot of tips on crabbing and stuff like that so if you're interested in that go check out his channel. Thank you guys for watching. See you next week.